By the age of six, Kyle James had been in the hospital dozens of times. Every month, he had to go back to Children's Health Care of Atlanta for a blood transfusion. And Kyle was born with sickle cell disease. His parents figured it would be part of his life forever. Until they discovered Kyle's sister, Kendall, could be his cure. Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin joins us now with their story. Okay? And Tom and Portia, I think most of us know a little bit about sickle cell disease and the pain and the complications that it can bring. But the idea that it can be cured is new, except that's exactly what doctors at Children's Health Care of Atlanta did for Kyle James. They cured him thanks to his big sister. Come right here. Kendall yes, and Kyle James of Conyers are tight. He's nice. He makes me laugh every day. She's eight and pretty calm. He's seven and all over the place. And when they play their favorite game, hide and seek. Every time when I get close to him, I say, Kyle, where are you? He starts laughing. And watching them, you get the feeling these two are more than just brother and sister. And that's because... I saved my little brother. Because she gave... Yeah, that gift allowed Kyle, who has struggled his whole life with painful sickle cell disease, to recently celebrate his seventh birthday sickle cell free. We call it a journey of hope. After tests showed that Kendall was a perfect sibling bone marrow donor match for her brother. On September 20th, 2015, Kyle, who was then six, checked into Children's Healthcare of Atlanta's Aflac Cancer and Blood Disorder Center to begin chemotherapy to wipe out his diseased bone marrow. The first day I saw the pillow with the hair and I'm all emotional, he's like, oh, that's just my five-year-old hair. My six-year-old hair will come in soon. So he always had a, a spin on everything. Then, 10 days later, early on the morning of September 30th, sleeping and holding her baby doll, Kendall was rolled into the operating room at Children's to have her bone marrow extracted from her back. She was just seven. They took two holes from the back of my back, the lower part of my back. Those cells would become Kyle's second chance. Later that same day, Kendall was given special permission to be with her brother as he received her bone marrow through an IV. You know, you're watching the bag go down, and when it gets to empty, it's like, okay, now we wait, you know, for the results. And that's because it takes a few weeks to know if the transplanted bone marrow will take, says bone marrow transplant specialist Dr. Beth Stanger. And those cells, after a period of a few weeks, can basically set up shop in the patient's bone marrow and start making normal healthy cells again, including the red blood cells that are defective in sickle cell disease. He got up every day, got dressed, bounced around the room. So I'm like, did it take? It did take. On November 11th, six weeks after the bone marrow transplant, Kyle's blood test came back. His sickle cell disease was cured. And so we're doing it at such a young age that in some ways, hopefully, you know, Kyle's not going to remember what life was like when he had sickle cell disease. But the Jameses will remember, and Kyle has a new nickname for his big sister. My hero. Why is she your hero? Because she saved my life. I love his voice, and Children's Health Care of Atlanta has performed nearly, nearly 70 bone marrow transplants for children with sickle cell disease. Almost all have been between siblings, but a few have involved unrelated donors, and those were part of a clinical trial that is also ongoing at Children's.